up on YouTube. Welcome to the Gus in Wapan. Steve Witterhack with you, and we are here to video stream some Wapan Warrior baseball. And man, they are hot so far this season. Five and zero on the season. They've only given up three runs total in their five games, and they've just been blowing teams off the field out there. Uh, Chilton, Berlin, they beat them twice. They beat Winnicott twice. And Travis Hall has uh, got to be pretty happy with what he's seen from his squad so far. Their last game was last Friday with a win against Winnicott, 8 to nothing. And I'll talk about that game as our uh, pregame show continues. But uh, a lot of high expectations right now, a lot of excitement, deep pitching staff, timely hitting, and putting a lot of runs on the board. Everything going right for Wapan. And uh, I'll have a chance to talk to uh, Coach Travis Hall. We'll have that interview coming your way in just a few minutes. But, again, Wapan Baseball starting an hour earlier today, just making sure they can get this game in. I tell you, these games are uh, hard to get in sometimes this time of year. Sometimes there's snow on the field this time of the year. You're playing in snow, and game's getting canceled. But a big storm coming our way, and thought maybe an hour earlier we should be able to get the game in. So that's, uh, that's good news that we're going to get this game in, hopefully here tonight and uh, bring you a good Wapan Warrior Boys baseball game. We're going to take a break. I'll come back with that interview with the coach of Wapan, Travis Hull, in just a few minutes as the Home and Auto Sales pregame show continues live from the Gus on RP Sports. Home and Auto is very blessed to have served our local communities for 50 years. From a small used car store with four employees to five locations and over 100 employees, we would like to thank our many customers and our communities for the past 50 years. Home in Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Waupon, Home in Chevrolet in Waupon, Home in Ford and Home in Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ripon, Home in Chevrolet GMC in Ripon, and the location where we began 50 years ago, Home in Value Center in Waupon. Thank you for allowing us to serve you, our customers, our friends, for the last 50 years. And we look forward Welcome to back the next to more of our pregame show live from the Gus and Home Wapan, and Auto. Wapan. Great selection, award-winning service, low prices, and a relaxed buying atmosphere. We make you feel at and home. Time at Home and Auto Group Wapan and Ripon, serving you live from for the 50 Wapan years in County Build, Sports. Whether it's a new home, a remodel, or commercial project, you need a committed team that's dedicated to bringing your visions to reality. You need Pino. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to www. Baseball getting set to play a conference game against the Ripon Tigers here tonight. And time now to talk to Travis Hull, the head coach for the Wapan Warriors in 5-0 and on the season. He's only given up a couple of runs so far, and three runs on the season, and just been putting a lot of runs on the board. What's, what's going well for you guys during the season so far? Um, well, we have an experienced group, and our pitching staff has thrown really, really well. We haven't walked a lot of guys, which has been good. Um, we've been focused on staying in the zone, um, you know, going after batters. Um, you know, we know we're going to get pushed. Like, we haven't, we haven't faced the toughest of competitions yet. But, um, but you know, the boys have a good energy about them. Like, they're playing hard. We're being aggressive um, on the base paths. Um, at the plate, just, you know, one of our focus, just keep pressure on teams, like, all the way through, so. And, uh, of course, uh, any coach always has some things he wants to work on uh, early in the season. What are things you'd like to see your team get better at? Um, you know, I think uh, early in games, like, we've struggled to put up runs in the first inning. Um, I think we've let, let some teams off the hook, and I'd just like to see our kids be a little bit more aggressive early on, um, you know, find our pitches and attack. Um, you know, other than that, we, we seem to find our rhythm usually, you know, by the second, third, fourth inning um, and kind of wear teams down. Um, but we, we definitely could work on that for sure. How about teams in the conference? You uh, got a couple sweeps now against Berlin and Winnicott. You got Ripon here today and you play them on Thursday again. Who are the teams that are going to give you the most trouble, you think, in the East Central Conference? Well, KML, I mean, they're defending champs and they've got a great pitching staff and some really good players. Um, and uh, and uh, Kiwaskum as well. Um, you know, those two teams are probably going to be the tops. And we haven't seen Plymouth yet, but they're usually pretty strong as well. So um, I think KML and Kiwaskum split early in the season. Um, so, you know, we know that those are going to be the ones, you know, obviously we got to take care of the, you know, every single one of them. But, you know, when it comes down to those, those games, it's going to be a grind and we're going to get, you know, we're going to get challenged. So, well, Coach, thanks for your time and uh, good luck here against the Ripon Tigers tonight. 
All right, thank you very much. Okay, Travis Hull joining us. Uh, the pregame show before our game, we got moved up an hour earlier, the threat of rain in the forecast, and this time of year, you got to get games in. It's hard to get them in later and get the umpires and uh, everything else. So uh, you got to get every game you possibly can, so that's why they started an hour earlier today. We'll be back with more of our pregame show in just a few minutes as our Home and Auto Sales pregame show continues live from the Gus and Wapan on RP Sports. Dot R A P I N N O dot com, and you'll learn about the Pino difference. Pino, build better for future generations. Brooke Bourne at Rock River Realty is a proud sponsor of high school sports. If buying or selling, if you're looking for someone to take care of your tree needs, call Eli at Torres Tree Service of Wapan. Eli and his team can remove trees big or small, even those hard to get trees. They do tree trimming and stump grinding, and the job's not done until they put topsoil and seed where the tree was removed, clean up the debris, and haul it away. Join the many satisfied customers by calling Torres Tree Service in Wapan at 920-334-5887. That's 920-344-5887 for Torres Tree service of Wapan. Are you or a loved one living with the discomfort and hopelessness of peripheral neuropathy? The tingling, the numbness, the life-altering pain? Are you tired of taking medications that only mask the symptoms or don't work at all? You don't have to live like that anymore. Introducing New Medical Center, your beacon of hope in the fight against peripheral neuropathy. Our team of dedicated specialists uses the latest advancement in medical technology to help you regain control of your life. Our personalized treatment plans are designed to reduce your pain, improve your balance, and restore your quality of life all while targeting the cause of your neuropathy. We believe in a holistic approach, combining cutting-edge therapies and lifestyle changes that can slow down, stop, or even reverse the progression of your disease to help you live your life to the fullest. Don't let peripheral neuropathy hold you back. Take the first step towards a pain-free life. Call New Medical Center today at 920-324-9899 or visit us on the web at newmedicalctr.com. That's New Medical Center, 920-324-9899 because you deserve to live without pain. Hey, you think it's warm over there? Where's the AC? We're not getting Netflix if it ain't free. Hi, this is Jackie with All Phase Heating, Cooling, and Geothermal. Soon we'll be in a warm Wisconsin summer. Now is the time to get your maintenance plan to prevent an AC conundrum. Don't forget, we sell and install Coleman furnaces too. Call 920-763-2301. Log on allphasecomforts.com. Providing your comfort zone for all seasons. I know the weather's changing. I can feel it in my knee. Say cheese. If you cringe when it's time to smile, come to Dentistry of Wisconsin in Beaver Dam and Waupon to make your grin big, bright, and beautiful. They can help with impactful solutions like implants, bridges, anthrodontics like Sure Smile Clear Aligners. And if you're looking for simple smile enhancers, they offer tooth whitening and veneers. Give Dentistry of Wisconsin a call in Beaver Dam at 887-2112 or their Waupon office at 324-3881. You can also visit them online at DentistryofWisconsin.com. Let's spring into a new career. Join the award-winning Zaputo Dairy USA team. Zaputo ranks within the top three for cheese production in the country, and they're right in this area. Career stability, great wages, benefits, and more. Right now, Zaputo is looking for skilled mechanics for their third shift, starting wages at over $30 per hour with an additional shift premium of $2 an hour. Benefits start after 30 days. Log on to Zaputo.com and click on Careers, located just outside of Wapan in Alto. And welcome back to the uh, Gus and Wapon. Steve Winterhack with you. And again, getting set to bring you Wapon Warrior Boys baseball action, conference action against a team that's, uh, you know, even though uh, maybe Rippon's down, Wapon is up right now. Wapon and Rippon still uh, means a lot between these two teams. Definitely uh, some rivals that aren't all that far from each other. So looking forward to a, a great game. Wapon sitting though at 5-0 and oh on the season. The Rippon Tigers coached by Jan, uh, John, Dan Jonas. He's been there for a while. Over at Rippon, he's one and three on the season, and they just lost their last game to Berlin by a score of ten to two. But Wapan has just been tearing it up, five and zero, oh, and they've just been blowing everybody out that they played. They played Chilton the first game and beat them ten to nothing. Mason Holtz pitched three innings, gave up one hit. I believe Evan Sauer pitched two innings in that ball game, and also uh, did a great job 
Then they played Berlin after that, beat them 12 to nothing. Jay Krieger pitched three innings in that game, uh, just gave up two hits. And then they played Berlin again the second game of those two that week. Logan Prawl. And we knew that he was going to be a great player coming in. And uh, you can also put him in the pitcher's mound. You can put him out anywhere pretty much in the infield. And, yeah, put him anywhere. Five in his pitch, and he only gave up one hit in that game. 17 to nothing will pawn one. And then last week they played Winnicott a couple of games, beating them the first game 15 to three. Five innings pitched again for Mason Holtz, who's going to be pitching tonight. No hitter. I guess some uh, balls thrown around, according to the uh, scouting report I got on that ball game. But they won 15 to three. And then they played Winnicott again and beat them 8 to nothing in that ball game. That was last week, Friday. Emmett Hull on the mound for Wapan. And he was uh, two for three from the plate and uh, crossed home plate a couple times. But he only gave up one hit in his five innings that he pitched in that game. He gave up no runs, of course, five Ks in the five innings that he pitched. So a great outing for Emmett Hall at the plate and on the pitcher's mound for the Warriors. And Chase Beam, been hearing a lot of good things about him. And his uh, cannon for an arm, and nobody uh, really wants to steal on Chase Beam as he's the catcher for Wapon. But he was two for four in that game, three RBIs. He had a double in the ball game, and he's looking rock solid behind home plate. So that's a nice convenience when you get a catcher of that quality playing uh, in that position for you. It's a, such a key position, and Chase looks like he's a very good one. Uh, so far in the early part of the season here in the East Central Conference, you've got Wapon sitting at 4-0. Berlin at 2-2 two and two and Rippon at 1-2. and two. Uh, Berlin's last game was on Friday, and they uh, lost to Berlin by a score of 10-2. We're getting close to the beginning of uh, this afternoon's game. Uh, well, we're early start because of the pending rain that could come in any time, probably after uh, 6 or 7 o'clock tonight. Could be some really stormy conditions coming up overnight and into the day tomorrow. So we'll see what happens with that. A lot of rain in the forecast the next few days after that. So again, uh, we will be back. I've got Justin Schwartzmiller handling our video streaming here today and looking forward to bringing you some uh, boys baseball action and a very good Wapan Warrior team back in just a few minutes with our game here today. It's Wapan taking on Rippin at the Gus and Wapan on RP Sports. Brooke Bourne is ready to go. Brooke Bourne at Rock River Realty has a 2.5% commission. Call 920-251-0500. That's 920- Planning to build? Whether it's a new home, remodel, or commercial project, you need a committed team that's dedicated to bringing your visions to reality. You need Pino. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to www.rapinno.com and you'll learn about the Pino difference. Pino, build better for future generations. Brooke Born at Rock River Realty is a proud sponsor of high school sports. If buying or selling, Brooke. This game is powered by C. Broxma Electric of Wapan. C. Broxma Electric has serviced the electrical needs for Wapan and the surrounding area for over 18 years, from small residential jobs to agricultural, industrial, and commercial. This game is powered by C. Broxma Electric of Wapan. C. Broxma Electric has serviced the electrical needs for Wapan and the surrounding area for over 18 years. From small residential jobs to agricultural, industrial, and commercial jobs, they do it all. For quality work and prompt, courteous service, contact your State of Wisconsin licensed electrical contractor in our area. C. Broxma Electric at 920-319-1614 or check them out online at cbelectric.net. Okay, we are back in Wapan, getting ready for Wapan, taking on Rippin Boys baseball action. And coming up this Friday and Saturday, if you're looking for something to do, uh, got a big baseball tournament. They have it every year, the Kevin DeBoer tourney. There's classic tournament, and they got some good teams, as usual, coming to town. So uh, it's going to be some great baseball on Friday and Saturday. Beloit Turner will be here. They're a perennial team that gets the state. Uh, Columbus, they got some good things going right now with their sports program, the boys over there. Uh, again, the girls have been uh, very good for years, especially these last few years. Fox Valley Lutheran, Lake Country Lutheran will be here. Lodi will be in town. Oshkosh North and also West Dallas, Nathan Hale will be here at the tournament. So a uh, great test for Wapan. They always uh, don't back down for some great competition. Gets them all ready for the postseason. So 
Uh, a very good tournament, bringing some good teams into town, and that'll be uh, be very beneficial for the Wapan Warrior Boys baseball team. We're announcing the starting lineups, and I'll be doing that in just a few minutes, and the beginning of this afternoon's game, Wapan at home at the Gus, taking on the Rippin' Tigers in boys baseball in the East Central Conference back after this on RP Sports. Did you know that Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake offers Casasa Rewards checking accounts? All Casasa Rewards accounts include refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. When you meet the monthly qualification criteria, there's no monthly maintenance fee and no minimum balance requirement. Best of all, you get rewarded for things you probably do anyway, such as using your debit card and setting up a direct deposit. Discover the benefits of opening a Casasa Rewards checking account at Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake. New ownership, same customer service tradition. Verhag's Furniture has been proudly serving Waupon and its surrounding areas for over 50 years. New owners Luke and Logan Gans are longtime employees of Verhag's Furniture and are committed to continue serving the furniture, accessory, and mattress needs of Waupon and the surrounding areas. Bringing you exceptional quality from Ashley Furniture, Lazy Boy, Tempur-Pedic, Puffy Mattress, and many more top brands from their store to your home. Verhag's Furniture Waupon, quality brands for affordable prices. Online at verhagfurniture.com. A reminder for everyone that Ben's Automotive is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. and on Saturdays by appointment only. Keeping your vehicle in tip-top running condition is essential. Call 324-9962 for Ben's Automotive. Get the quality repair and maintenance services you need from the automotive technicians you can trust. Ben's Automotive at the corner of Carrington and Main Streets in beautiful downtown Wapan. Call 920-324-9962 to schedule your service or repair needs today. And Steve with us here at the other bar, Main Street in Wapan. We invite people to stop on by this week. Steve, enjoy some great appetizers, some soups, some great specials, too. Weather's well, getting a little better. It's a little rainy, so good time to come in get some soups. And uh, homemade pizzas are always great. Fish fry is always here. Come check it out. We've got some interesting specials this week. Got the Brewers baseball in full swing, of course. Got the Bucks playoffs. We'll see what happens there with the NBA. We'll uh, hope for the best and come down and watch the Brewers. They're still hot, looking good. The Bucks. Well, we'll see what happens, but obviously games on the TVs all the time, all kinds of great things to watch, so come down and have a, one of our 16 tap beers and enjoy yourself. The smoke-off has been postponed, right? Canceled for right now, the one that was supposed to happen this coming weekend. Lots of interest, uh, just no commitments. We're going to keep it on the back burner. We're going to keep talking about it. We're going to try to get some more people in, involved in it, but if you're interested in doing this, come talk to us. We need to find a date, maybe late fall, get some people signed up for it, but with the amount of moving parts in this, we got to know what we got going before we do it. The other bar, Main Street in Wapan. Stop on by this week. Steve, thank you. Thanks, Nick. We are back, we are at, back the at the Gus. And, uh, and, uh, let's go through the go starting through the lineups, lineups for both teams. First of all, we'll uh, take a look we'll at Wapan's defense, defense out of the field uh, right, uh, now. right so now. So for the so Warriors, for the Warriors on, the bottom, on the bottom, Mason Holtz, lefty. lefty. And, uh, and uh, so, uh, behind home plate, you got Chase Beam again with that cannon for an iron back there. First base is Jake Krieger. Krieger. And, uh, and playing uh, over playing at over second base, Logan, Logan Prawl. Prawl. Your shortstop short is Evan Sauer. Third, third, third baseman is Emmett Hall. Hall. And left to right in the outfield, we've got Brady, Brady White, White, Bryant, Bryant Ferris, Ferris, also Ethan, Ethan Cunningham. Cunningham. So that's the starting, starting uh, defensive, uh, defensive uh, order for, for the Wapan uh, Warriors out of the field. And we'll take a look defensively now at the Rippin, I should say offensively, their batting order. Right now for the right Rippin' Tigers, Tigers coached by Dan, by Dan Jonas. He'll be starting out with Shea Otto. He is their first baseman. The Mason kill him, kill him. He is a left fielder batting second. second. After that, it's Matt it's Melling, Melling, the catcher. The catcher. And pitcher and Jacob, Jacob Riddick. Riddick on the mound. He's their cleanup batter. After that, it is Adam Sina. He's the third baseman. Braden Dudzinski is the designated hitter. Uh, Nolan uh, Drogolovich is, is playing, playing right field right and batting field seventh. And after that, you Raya Lambert. Lambert. And then it's Mason, Mason Wiesner batting nine. And then he is the he is second, the baseman. second baseman. Uh, Coy DeBreeze is being, uh, being uh, hit for hit with a designated, with a designated hitter, hitter, and hitter and he plays center, center field, field for the Rippin' Tigers. We are ready to play ball. I tell you, Mason Holtz looking rock solid so far on the season. Pitching that game against Chilton that they won to start up the season 10 to nothing. And then he just owned the batters for Winnicott when he pitched a no-hitter in five innings and then 15 to three victory that they had. The only runs the only that Wapan has given up so far this so season in five games. So everything working for Wapan right now, the defense. 
the pitching, the pitching obviously, obviously working, working, and that's, that's, that's a key to have a key great, to have team, a great is, team. Is got to have some depth in pitching with a pitch count out there. Out there, there has got it, got it, and then some. I think they've, I think got, they've got about five guys, five guys that be ace pitchers for any team around the conference. On the Wapan Roaring pitching squad, so things looking pretty good for Travis Hull and his Wapan Warrior baseball team. And here we go. Here we we go. are ready we to, are play, ready to here play here at the Gus. At the Gus. Pond in their, white, their jerseys. white jerseys. You can see them on, see the, field them on the field right now. Right now. And now ripping the black jerseys and orange lettering. And ready to go. Ready to go. First pitch for Mason Holtz. Holtz. This is low. This is low. And away and for, for ball one. Ball one. 63, 63 for the temperature. And the strong winds coming in from right field. This pitch is swung on by Otto. And fouled out of play over on the first base side. Again, our, my first chance to see the Wapon Warriors. I was kind of excited about, excited about uh, to see them, to play, see them today. play today. This one catches, this one the, catches outside the outside part of the, part of the plate. Makes the count. Makes the count. One, one and two. And two. Shea Otto. Shea Otto. Left-handed, left-handed, uh, right-handed hitter. Right-handed hitter. I should say for the Rippin' Tigers. Tigers. Mason Killam awaiting on waiting on deck right deck now right for the Tigers. Comes the 2-2 pitch. two pitch. It's chopped towards, towards, towards third, third base, picked, base, up, picked down up down the line, the line and they're going to say that it that was, was foul. foul. Chopped, chopped over there, over but, there uh, but high uh, in the air, that last that bounce, bounce, but they're going to go into foul territory to try to, to, try to put it back put it out back there out with Hall. At third base for the second year in a row. Played as a over there last year and all season over in that position. Also lead off batter for Wapan is... Had that spot had that for a spot couple for years, a couple now, years now. Quite a bit about Emmett. About Emmett. We got to pitch got in that last game against, against Winnicott. That one's going to miss, gonna miss uh, a little high, high maybe a little tight. Little tight. Makes it a 3-2 three, 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 count, three, count, count to Shea Otto. Coming right at him right with this one. And that is hit hard out towards right field. The wind helps knock that one down. And just heading back a little bit to go up, bring it in. Was, uh, was Ethan Cunningham. Ethan, Cunningham. Ethan gets the out on the out right, out field. right field. Kind of shallow, kind of shallow over, there, over there, of course, with the wind, wind coming in from that in direction. direction. Still had to go hard. It was actually pretty, pretty hard on the day where there was no wind was coming in. That might have been trouble. Or just caught a little deeper when he'd be playing deeper out there. But you don't want to hit out the right field today. Strong wind knocked over the garbage cans. Looks like my basketball was going to go down, too, so I put that down. Next pitch in. Pitch in. Nasty little Nasty pitch, little there, pitch and there and a swing and a miss. Swing and a miss on the by, swing by Mason, Mason Killam. Max Belling, Max Belling catcher, catcher awaiting, catcher awaiting on, deck. on deck. Comes the 0-2 pitch. The 0-2 pitch. That one's, that one's, uh, right now Killam right trying, trying to sell that he got hit by the ball. And the umpire, he's not, he's uh, not giving him the base right now. Right now. Mason just, just wants to get on. Uh, on uh, Kill him wants to get on any way he can, can against Mason, Mason Holtz. Mason Holtz but <laughs> but <laughs> says, no, says no. Get back here. One, two, the one count now to kill him. Kill him. Fights the next one off. Coming inside on that one. Foul ball on the ground. First base side. Keeps the count at one and two. Count I get myself in baseball mode. And one softball, and one softball game, game so far with Wapon at, at Rippin. Rippin. Playing over at Murray, Murray Park, Park over there. 12-0 win for the Wapon Lady Warriors, Lady Warriors last week. Last week. My, second my second game of the spring, spring season. season. And that is and a call strike. strike. Just and just watch the strike three, three go by in the upper part of the zone. Mason Killam goes down looking. So two up, so two, two up, and two down. Two down. That'll, That'll bring up the left-handed, left-handed hitting, hitting Max Belling, Belling, the catcher. The catcher. The crowd in the plate. Yes, called, yeah. strike called strike and, and back up, back up the umpire. umpire. And agrees, and agrees with, him, with him a little out of his head. Big sweeping, Big sweeping, sweeping uh, curveball curve in that one. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss by Belling. Belling lead down to the count of and two. So two down, nobody on base, and a no-two pitch now for Mason Holtz. 
Going to miss Lowe Lowe and away in the, the, the next pitch. The count in, count one, in and one and two. Nice day nice to be in the broadcast, the broadcast booth, booth today with that wind coming in. It's chilly out there. Uh, swings uh, swings on the nice one, one, but man, it just shoots away from, away from the plate. Out towards, out towards the fence, the fence safe, safe forward first, first place, place is uh, Max, uh, Max Belling. Belling. So that puts so a runner, puts a runner at, first at first base, base but a crazy uh, kick off, kick off the uh, plate down, down there. Just shot, shot off to the right towards the Wapan dugout. And that allowed, that allowed uh, Belling, to, Belling get to get over to first base. That'll bring, bring up Jacob Riddick, Riddick the cleanup batter, right-handed hitter. hitter. And pitcher, and pitcher. Starting, pitcher starting pitcher for Rippin, for Rippin, Rippin here tonight. First pitch, first pitch a pitch called strike. strike. No offer no from off Riddick. Riddick. Count is 1-1. Count is one, one. One. Had a check had with Jake Craig of the first baseman, see if Grandpa and Grandma and Jerry and Chris were around the area. So they're back, sort of back. <laughs> Sounds, Sounds like, like uh, Jerry, Jerry is fishing, fishing in Ohio, in Ohio right, right now. This, this is a uh, hit between, between short and third, third base, base out to left, left field. field. That'll put runners, runners down at first and second, second base. base. So first, first base hit of the ball game, game for Rippin. Rippin. Runners at that first, first and second. second. Jerry, good, good luck fishing. fishing. Glad, glad you could join us here today. today. Got to make sure and check in with them. Make sure that they were one of our regular listeners from Arizona when they were out there. Make sure, sure they, they got, got back, back here. here. So runner at first, and a sign, sign that comes up. up. Swings, Swings on the first, on the first pitch, pitch in, in, and fouls, fouls it back, back into, into the screen, screen for strike, strike one. one. He's going to buy, buy one, one of those chairs, chairs that Jerry and Chris have. They have those chairs that are about, about six, six, seven, eight, eight inches taller than a regular chair, which is just perfect for doing games behind home plate when you're on the ground. Usually that bar comes right across where you're looking at, so... Got to borrow a chair. chair. Swing and a miss on the next pitch in. in. You to go, go find one of those. those. If you have to go over to uh, Kettle Moyne Luther, Luther, not a great, great place to go, go watch a game, game and uh, call a game. So you got to have, have that taller chair, chair built over that bar behind home plate. Another 0-2 pitch for Mason, Mason Holtz. Goes with some high heat. Swing and a miss. On the next pitch in. So it does retire the side, giving up one hit. One wild pitch. Runners, Runners stranded, stranded at first or second, second base, base and nobody, nobody scores, scores after one half, half complete. complete. Here, Here at Wapan, it is now 0-0. Zero, zero, zero. Wapan's half, half inning one coming, coming your way in just, just uh, about, about uh, one, one minute, minute here, here on RP Sports. Sports. Home and Auto is very blessed to have served our local communities for 50 years. From a small used car store with four employees to five locations and over 100 employees, we would like to thank our many customers and our communities for the past 50 years. Home in Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Waupon, Home in Chevrolet in Waupon, Home in Ford and Home in Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ripon, Home in Chevrolet GMC in Ripon, and the location where we began 50 years ago, Home in Value Center in Waupon. Thank you for allowing us to serve you, our customers, our friends, for the last 50 years. And we look forward to the next 50 years. Home and Auto, great selection, award-winning service, low prices, and a relaxed buying atmosphere. We make you feel at home at Home and Auto Group in Wapan and Ripon, serving you for 50 years and counting. Horn is ready to. Okay, we are back, back at the Gusty Water Hack with you. We're going to bring you the bottom half of inning number one, one Justin Schwartz Miller, Miller joining, joining us here, here today. today. And First time, time I think you're flying, flying solo, solo, isn't it, Justin? Yeah, yeah. so uh, he's, he's been, been uh, doing, doing a lot, lot of games, games with us and looking, looking forward to him as he grows within, uh, doing, doing the video, video stream for us and doing play-by-play play play and stuff, stuff like, like that for us. So uh, glad, glad to have you on board, board Justin. Justin. Here we go. Well, Pond coming up here in the bottom half of inning number one. Let's take a look at what Pond's batting order. And Hull will be leading off third baseman after that. Evan Sauer will be batting second. Brian Ferris moving up in the order. Center, center fielder, fielder batting, batting third, Chase, Chase Beam, Beam in the cleanup, cleanup spot. spot. After, After that, that right, right fielder, fielder Ethan, uh, Ethan Cunningham, Cunningham, Logan, Logan Prawl, second, second base, base batting, batting six. six. Mason, Mason Holtz, Holtz, he is batting, batting seven, followed by Jake, Jake Krieger and, and Brady, Brady White. White. It's a bad order, order for the Wolfon Warriors. Warriors. Jacob, Jacob Riddick, Riddick right-handed right -handed pitcher on the mound for the Ripper Tigers. Max Belling is behind home plate. Shea Otto, the first baseman. Mason, Mason Wiesner, Wiesner is, is the second, second baseman. Uriah Lambert, Lambert is the shortstop. Short Adam, Adam Sina is at third, third base. Mason Killam 
In left, in left field, center, center fielder, fielder is, is Coy DeBreeze, DeBreeze, and, and Nolan uh, Dragolovich, Dragolovich is the, the right, right fielder. fielder. Nolan, Nolan's got to pause, pause to, to make sure I get his, his name with the right, right uh, emphasis, the right, <laughs> right part, part of the name. name. So, so here we go. We go. Well, Pons, Pons first had bat of the ball game. game. No, no score in the game here at the bottom of the first inning. And Emmett Hall is up to bat at first for Pond and Evan Sauer waiting on deck. Pitch. pitch in the middle, a little bit low, low maybe a little bit away, away. Makes, makes the count, count one or oh. That one catches, catches the outside, outside part, part of the, of the plate. plate, puts, puts a count, count at one and one. one. See, I'm kind of uh, staying towards the back, back of the batter's, of the batter's uh, box, right box right now. Box right now. Box right now. One on one, the count now. A little feedback coming in. So, 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 next pitch, pitch is a uh, strike rate. Now, one and two. One, two, 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 two. And, and strike, strike three going down looking is Emmett Hall on the next pitch in. So, Emmett goes down looking, and that'll bring up Evan Sauer. Nobody on base. And, and Evan, Evan Sauer, Sauer right-handed right hitter, 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 shortstop, shortstop for Pond, steps, steps up to the plate. plate. Yeah, I'm a, a good, good leader, leader out there. there. Uh, this to be the, the, the catcher when he first, first uh, uh, earned his, his way on the, the varsity. He uh, did a great, great job, job in that position, position but uh, I like, like him over, over at shortstop. Does some, does some uh, pitching again for Wapon. Good leader on the team. Called strike on the first pitch into Evan Sauer. Looks like Jacob, Jacob Riddick can bring it in pretty, pretty good. good. Remember that, that name, name of the past, past over, over there in Ripon. Ripon. Yeah, working, working that outside part, part of the plate, and Evan still no offer, offer puts, puts him down, down the count, count with two. two. Riddick with, with the, the pitch. pitch. Takes, Takes a little, little off, off that, that one. one. Nice, nice pitch. pitch. Well, change up and uh, way ahead of the swing, swing and a miss, miss by Evan Sauer. Sauer. So, so two, two batters, batters two, two strikeouts, strikeouts for Wapan. Great start, start there by uh, Jacob, Jacob Riddick. Riddick. What did you say it was, Scott? Like, like a knuckleball? Knuckle yeah, yeah, there was, there was a, a bunch of speed off, off it. And and hopefully fooled, fooled that up. That brings up Ryan Ferris up to that three slot right now for Wapan. First pitch, way outside. Back to the backstop. You have to you throw, have to throw a, few a few out there. there. You got to make, make it look like you have like just a little bit of wild in there, there making sure you can't, can't settle, settle in the box, box too good. good. One little count now. Brian, Brian Ferris, Ferris and Chase, Chase Beam. Beam. Hoping that he gets a chance to bat this inning. Waiting, waiting on, on deck. deck. Next pitch is going to be just a bit low. Puts the count at 2 0. Scott Van Gale back in the broadcast booth tooting. Doing the. The A announcing, announcing and, and the national anthem, anthem the nailed, nailed it again, again today. today. That is hit, hit high in the air, air but, but out of play over on the right, right, right field side. side. Thought maybe Scott might not be right now. I know he had a bachelor party last week. Got to send them off. Send them off. Veggie getting married. Getting married. That one fooled Ryan. Ryan Ryan missed. The count out two and two. Looking like, like, like a pretty solid, pretty solid pitch, pitch. Great control, control. Mixes it up, mixes just, it up just, just a little bit. Oh, next, oh, next that one, that's like Bray. Bray, he gets the uh, right hand right 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 Jason, that last game, game Friday, 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 two for two, four, four, three, 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 three,
who's pitching to Jason. 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 Good jump, good jump, good jump. Good jump. Good jump. Good and a uh, nice job nice by Brian Bear hitting over there with the second base. base. Yeah, Brian's yeah, having a great start of the season. season. I think watching, I think watching him, him on the basketball, basketball court or on the baseball, baseball field, he'll be a great, great, great athlete. athlete. That one's going to be a good pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catcher. Catcher. The only chase is in the back. That allows Ferris to go over the third base. Yeah, that's a good pass. Two and over count for Chase Green. Wow, the runner in scoring position for third base. They can take advantage of it. After the first two bad hats, right striking out. Comes the 2 0 pitch. Gonna be just, just, just a bit high. Nice count. Three and oh. Three and oh. It's not a, a huge, huge crowd, crowd, crowd in the, the here at Wapano Hockey League in the game. This, this is going to be the south side. Of the side. Horse race ball by Jacob Wiggins. Runner at first. 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 And Nathan Cunningham. 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 He's going to hit it and hit it and run up on. Schmidt coming in to do a run, run, run. So I can see my sheet already that I got from Wiss Sports. Sports is not exactly correct. Big opportunity here for Wapano Pond. Most of the beginning of the game got a little control problem by Jacob Riddick. Like he had total control of the pitches on the first two batters, but... That one down, down, down low. What's cutting him? Cutting him down. He's down. He's down. One zero. One zero. Logan Trawl waiting to get that deck. No score in the game. A lot of runners in it. They want to have that against Griffin. Griffin. And they go Smith. Smith running. They want to go second base. No runner. Second base. Second base. Third. Third. Couple of runners scoring positions. Gap right here. We get a couple of runs in. Comes the one, one, one pitch. pitch. Again, does yeah, a great, great job working the outside, outside part of the plate. No offer for coming against the counter one and two. Two down. Two down. Opportunity, Opportunity here for one here in the bottom of the first. The first. No, no score in the game. game. That one has swung out, out but, but fouled back. back. Keeps, Keeps the count at one and two. Jacob, Jacob Rudd gets a few tricks, tricks in his bag. bag and took all that speed up that pitch, pitch for a, a strike out earlier, earlier this inning. See what he does on this pitch. pitch. Ooh, that, that one behind, behind the pitch. And, uh, Ferris is going to score, score from, from uh, third base. <laughs> and then, like, like I said, said you see Jacob, Jacob Rudd looking, looking brilliant at times. times and then these, uh, these wild, wild pitches that he had. That one was way behind the batter. And that allows the runner to come in and moves. Schmidt over, over to third, third base, base, and Wapano leads now, now one, one to nothing. nothing. Wapano can make Ripper pay again. again. Two, 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 two pitch. pitch. That's going to miss a little away. away. Puts, Puts the count, the count out with three and two. two. He said Logan, Logan Crawl all waiting, waiting on deck. deck. Just seeing, seeing Logan, Logan on the basketball, basketball court, court and not seeing him play, play baseball, baseball yet. This is my, my first, first game. He just came to Wapon High School, high school this, season. this season. 3-2 pitch. And that, that is strike, strike three. three. Cunningham, Cunningham ready to get down, down to first, first base. But Wapon does, does come, come up with a run. run. No, no hits, though. A couple strikeouts. One player hit by a pitch. One walk. And after one play, Wapon leading one to nothing. Back to the top of the second inning. Just 60 seconds on RP Sports. Home and Auto is very Home and Auto is very Home and Auto is very Auto for 50 years. 50 From years. a small used 50. car store with four employees to five locations and over 100 employees. We would like to thank our many customers and our communities for the past 50 years. Home and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Waupon. Home and Chevrolet in Waupon. 
Holman Ford and Holman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ripon, Holman Chevrolet GMC in Ripon, and the location where we began 50 years ago, Holman Value Center in Waupon. Thank you for allowing us to serve you, our customers, our friends, for the last 50 years. And we look forward to the next 50 years. Home and Auto, great selection, award-winning service, low prices, and a relaxed buying atmosphere. We make you feel at home at Home and Auto Group in Waupon and Ripon, serving you for 50 years and counting. Home and Auto is very blessed. Okay, Steve, Steve we're happy with, with you back, back here, here at the Gus and Wapan. 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 Wapan that that takes advantage, advantage of not having, having a hit, hit, but does, does bring a run across, across the plate. One player hit by a pitch, one walk. walk. A little wild, wild pitches, pitches in there, getting, getting runners, runners uh, over, over the second, second and third, and eventually getting one home. home. So... Well, we need one to nothing. Yeah, and up the bat, bat number six, seven, eight, eight in the batting, batting order. Braden Dazinski, the designated, designated hitter, hitter coming, coming to the plate. plate. Had, Had the count, count now 2 0 facing Mason Holtz. Next pitch, pitch is a strike. strike. Yeah, Mason, Mason doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't hesitate. hesitate. Hits the ball and gets the ready and rock and fire. And now a 2 1 count. Next one, one catches, catches the outside, outside part, part of the plate. plate. Kaczynski. Now looking at a 2-2 count. count. Nolan Dragalovich waiting on deck. deck. Oh, it's a high. He's, he's going to get a nice comeback. comeback. They had to count 2-0 two and, two and, and three, three straight strikes, strikes with a high heat. heat. Chases, Chases it, goes down, down swinging. swinging. That is strikeout strike number, number three for Mason Holtz. Four? Four? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, four, four because, because of the, the, uh, the wild pitch. pitch. Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Oh, this was on, on the ground over towards first, first but it's, it's going to be just, just a, a bit foul on the first baseline. Line. Uriah, Uriah Lambert, Lambert, he is, he is waiting, waiting on, on deck. deck. Great batting order, order, so. so. Perfect, perfect down, down the season. season. Five, Five and a conference play. This is his high in the air, air over center, center field, and, and Brian Harris, Harris calling everybody off. off. Catches it, it as ball kind of pulls it in over towards the left field. field. So that's his job out there, there. calling everybody off. off. Charge the baseball, baseball out there, they have the field, field, and uh, brings it in for out, out number two. two. Ryan, Ryan Lambert, Lambert, the shortstop of the bat, right handed hitter. Number eight in the batting order. Pitching to him, swings on, and, and uh, lines, lines one foul over, over on the right field side. side. Strike, Strike one. one. Yeah, yeah, great, great time, time of year, uh, especially, especially if you, you live, live in a lot. you got a great, great softball, softball team, team. you got a great boys, boys baseball, baseball team. team. A lot of reasons, reasons to get, get out of the house and come down, down to the ballpark to cheer on your team on either side of Lincoln Street. My girls look like they're looking at possibly making a strong run to get to the state tournament. We've been there twice, twice in the school's, school's history. history. I think second, second place a few years, years back. back. It was, it was a great, great year. We had four teams from our listening area. area. And, and one time, time I had because of the rain delays, delays, I had to do five, five games, games in a row. row. I was going to finish up what was going on with the semifinals of that state. And then going to the state championship teams. You had Oldfield, Lyron was there, Laconia was there, Wapan. Swing, and they miss. On the next pitch in, so a couple strikeouts, one fly out. Three, three up, three down, down. And, and after one and a half, half innings here, here at the Gus, he just goes on leading one, one to nothing, nothing back, back to the bottom, bottom of inning, inning number two coming, coming away in just, just 60, 60 seconds, seconds on our Sports. sports.
If you're looking for someone to take care of your tree needs, call Eli at Torres Tree Service of Waupun. Eli and his team can remove trees big or small, even those hard to get trees. They do tree trimming and stump grinding and the job's not done until they put topsoil and seed where the tree was removed, clean up the debris and haul it away. Join the many satisfied customers by calling Torres Tree Service in Waupun at 920-334-5887. That's 920-344-5887 for Torres Tree Service of Waupun. Are you or a loved one living with the discomfort and hopelessness of peripheral neuropathy? The tingling, the numbness, the life-altering pain? Are you tired of taking medications that only mask the symptoms or don't work at all? You don't have to live like that anymore. Introducing New Medical Center, your beacon of hope in the fight against peripheral neuropathy. Our team of dedicated specialists uses the latest advancement in medical technology to help you regain control of your life. Our personalized treatment plans are designed to reduce your pain, improve your balance, and restore your quality of life all while targeting the cause of your neuropathy. We believe in a holistic approach, combining cutting-edge therapies and lifestyle changes that can slow down, stop, or even reverse the progression of your disease to help you live your life to the fullest. Don't let peripheral neuropathy hold you back. Take the first step towards a pain-free life. Call New Medical Center today at 920-324-9899 or visit us on the web at newmedicalctr.com. That's New Medical Center, 920-324-9899 because you deserve to live without pain. Hey! 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 Okay, we are back okay. at the Gus and Wilpon. Steve Winterhack with you. And this is the bottom half of inning number two. Logan Prawl up the bat. He's sitting on a 1-1 count facing Jason Riddick for the first time. First bat of the ball game for Logan Prawl. Second baseman. Mason Holtz waiting on deck. Next pitch is going to miss high and tight. Puts the count at 2-1. And Jay Krieger in the hole now for the Wapan Warriors. Two and one the count now for Logan Prawl. One nothing ball game. Wapan leading in your new medical integrated healthcare scoreboard. The next one's going to miss just off the plate. Puts a count at three and one. Yeah, coming up this uh, weekend again, the DeBoer Diamond Classic right here in this diamond. That's going to miss down low, and Logan Prawl issued a walk, and catcher taking his time going after the ball. Logan looks and uh, puts on the Jets and heads the second base, slides in. And uh, I don't know if the catcher didn't see where the ball was or something, but uh, just kind of standing by home plate, Logan looked back, said, man, he's not even going after the ball, which was way back by the screen, and Logan put on his Jets and head over to second base, so... Getting another base on that one, so the runner in scoring position for Wapan and Mason Holtz, left-handed hitter, coming up to bat for Wapan. And uh, Mason Holtz up to bat, and Logan may be getting a little too far off the base for uh, Jacob Riddick's liking, so it kind of walks him back over to second, and now the catcher, Max Belling, going out to talk to his pitcher. (laughs) Mason Holtz up to bat, Jay Krieger waiting on deck. Windy night, blowing things around out there, like I said, had to pass them down, and a few things in my my yard, so they weren't blowing across the street to the park. Call strike on the first pitch into Mason. Yeah, this is the third start of the season of the six games that Wapan has played. Uh, Mason has been the starting pitcher in three of them. Definitely uh, consider the ace on the team. 0-1 oh, the count to Mason Holtz. That's a nice pitch coming inside, and that's where Riddick likes that uh, part of the plate. Just painted it on that one. It makes the count 0-2. Oh, one hit hard, but a jab over at first to scooping that one up. Coach Schmidt over there. Got down with one knee, classic we just to start, get down and get those little choppers over there, knocked it down, and they got it back to the pitcher. Makes the count 0-2, though. This one into Holtz. Had to kind of scoot out of the way. 
Too far inside, puts the count at one and two. Logan Prawl standing at second base. Would have had Randy Armga join me today, but uh, he's busy doing a lot of games. He's probably got 50 games set up for umpiring between softball and baseball, and that's what he's doing uh, somewhere out there today. So Chopper over towards shortstop coming in is Lambert. It's going to be a tough one, and it's going to go over the top of the first baseman's head. Compounds that he was not going to get that out at first by throwing it over the first baseman's head, and that allows the runner to come in. So Prawl scores from second base. Perfectly uh, chopped ball, though. There's no way that uh, Lambert was going to get him at first and should have maybe just uh, kept that one there, but uh, just made it worse by throwing it over the first baseman's head to allow the run to come in. So that'll bring up Jake Krieger to the plate. Follows the first pitch into him. Put the count at 0-1. That was the first hit of the ball game for Wapan. A little extra bounce hitting it on this field compared to a grass field. and It's enough to get past Jacob Riddick, the uh, pitcher, so he couldn't get at it. And then Uriah Lambert, the shortstop, had to come way into the infield and not much have behind the mound to get the ball and rush the throw on a play that he wasn't going to make. And that one hit over towards third base, knocked down, uh, picking it back up, throwing to first, and uh, not in time. And again, they were waiting for the official score. <laughs> Jenner score gives him a base hit <laughs> on that. But that was a nice hard hit ball from Jake. It'll bring up Brady White, the left fielder. Number nine in the batting order. Top of the order, Emmett Hull waiting on deck. No outs, and Wapan with a run in. And runners at first and second, uh, third base, and a called strike into Brady on the first pitch in. Yeah, fun time of year. I know the grandsons are getting ready for the, their little league here right in the same complex here at Lindsay Jock Fields. It's a great time of year and a lot of life going on here and a lot of baseball going on in these fields. and Really a nice uh, nice field here. Wapan should be proud of all the kids that are involved in baseball here, the teams that come here and play in tournaments. I think each uh, Little League grade level has uh, hosts uh, a tournament normally right here, which definitely helps the program a lot here, and they make a lot of money on that, bringing in teams who want to play on these fields. Bunt attempt by White. Follows it down to the ground. Count is now 0-2. I know I'll be taking up a lot of my weekends going to watch some 9- and 11-year-old uh, boys baseball during the summer and spring. It'll be coming up uh, probably within. A runner goes, and that's hit up out towards center field, and it goes over the top of the head of Coy DeVries. Maybe caught it with his glove just a little bit, but falls behind him, and two runs come in for Wapan. <laughs> Again, uh, Coy DeVries kind of backpedaling in the wind, uh, a little troublesome there. Did uh, catch the top of his glove, kind of fell right behind him, but that allowed Wapan, who was off on their horses as soon as that ball was hit, and they scored two on it, 4 nothing. And they give an error to the uh, center fielder on that ball. That's runs number two and three coming in. Three runs coming in, and now Wapan leading 4 or just uh, two runs come in. Okay, three to nothing. And those two runs coming in. Runners at first and second base. Yeah, who's the vocal uh, player? There's always a vocal guy in the dugout. Is the Logan Logan is uh, somebody's always has that that title. Top of the order up Emmett Hall up to bat. Krieger at second base. And White standing over at first base now for Wapan. <laughs> Throw over to second base, not in time. <laughs> 
three nothing Warriors. Not like the uh, the bats are going real uh, hard for uh, Wapan, but I tell you, defense uh, a struggle right now for the Rippin Tigers. Some errors out there helping Wapan. Wild pitch, big swing, and the next pitch in by Emmett Hall puts him down to the count 0 and 2. The 0-2 pitch, and uh, that's it over towards third base. Passes glove out into the left field, and a uh, run is going to score play at the plate, and now play over at third base, and runner safe over there, but perfectly hit ball there by Emmett Hull just past the glove of the third baseman, Adam Sina, out to left field. That's an RBI single for Emmett Hull. Yeah, Wapan all was a very aggressive running baseball team and a high baseball IQ, I think, for the Wapan Warriors. You know, no need to try to push them off the base or to try to get that extra base. They are ready to go at any given time. Finally, he's now four to nothing. And we'd get that run in this inning anyway, so we kind of jumped that a little bit earlier. Yeah, three hits in the inning for uh, Wapan. Runner goes with Emmett Hull. This is out towards right field down the line, and it's going to end up uh, well foul on the right field side. Devin, uh, strikeout victim is last at bat. Down to the count again, 0-2. Who knows, maybe uh, not a, a windy day is uh, coming out of right field like that with that wind coming in, kind of knocking that over, but... It might have been right down the line without the wind. High and tight on the next pitch into Evan. Puts the count at one and two. And runners at the corners for Ropan. Three runs in in the inning, leading four to nothing here in the bottom of the second inning. Someone's outside and uh, pops away from the uh, catcher, uh, Max Belling. That puts Hull over to uh, second base. The runners at second and third again for Wapan. Up 4 nothing here in the bottom of the second against the uh, Riffin Tigers. Wapan is just putting some runs on the board all season long. When the county first ones to hold them under 10 runs in a game with an 8 to nothing win last week. Nice stop there by the catcher, Max Belling. Had a backhand that one on the outside pitch into Evan. He's worked himself into a full count now. 3-2 and two to Evan. Would love to add a couple RBIs to his stats. Comes a 3-2 pitch. Oh, a swing and a miss on the next one in. That's just the first out, believe it or not, for Wapan here in the inning. It just uh, keeps on going, but Evan goes down swinging. And that'll bring up Brian Ferris. Hit by a pitch and scored Wapan's First run of the ball game. A fastball, a strike all the way on that one and not offering on it. Brian Ferris down to the count 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. Swung on by Brian, kind of jammed him on that one. He fought it off, but uh, lines it foul over on the first base side, puts a count at 0 and 2. A great opportunity here for Wapan with just one down. Chase Beam awaiting on deck. And runners at second and third with three runs across the plate already in the inning. Comes the 0-2 pitch and it kind of pokes that one out of the field to play and picked up and uh, safe over at first base. Uh, Brian Ferris with an infield hit. That loads up the bases. Everything kind of falling Wapan's way. Just a uh, good job on that one. Had to reach out and just barely uh, hit that down to the ground. Almost like a really nice bunt and way over towards the third base the line that maybe about 20 feet out from home plate. And uh, Riddick gave it a chase, but no reason to even throw to first because uh, Brian Ferris had some good speed and it was just a perfectly placed ball. Bases loaded for Wapan. Chase Beam, the cleanup batter, up to bat. 
That's the guy you want. He got him in that cleanup spot. He want bases loaded, and here he is. Called strike on the first pitch in. No offer from Beam. Still only one down. With Ethan Cunningham awaiting on deck. Complimented Ethan on his mustache. Only because I can't grow one, and uh, Ethan can. Kind of a thing right now. See a lot of uh, a lot of the actors and a lot of people weren't with mustaches right now. Kind of a thing. The 0 1 pitch to Chase. Some high heat's going to miss about chin level. Puts the count at 1 and 1. Yeah, well, Pond All was a very uh, opportunistic team, and they've got the guys. They've got the good speed on the base pass for Wapan uh, overall. Next pitch is going to miss outside. Two and one the count to Chase Beam. Like I said, Wapan has, like I said before, a very good baseball IQ from top to bottom. So when they're on base, they never hesitate to take that extra base and be aggressive out there. Two one the count to Beam. Pitch is going to miss high and away. Makes the count three and one. Everybody playing right on the edge of the uh, fake grass out there at uh, the Gus and Wapan. Comes a three one pitch. That's a called strike. I'm looking at that outside part of the plate. Got the uh, call from the whole plate up higher. Three and two the count for Beam. Big moment right here for Wapan. Get your cleanup batter up. Bases jammed. 3 2 count. Here's the pitch from Jacob Riddick. And that one is high and tight and uh, loses him. That's uh, another walk, and that'll walk a run in for Wapan now, uh, leading this game 5 to nothing. Four runs in in the inning, and still only one down. Coach heading out to home plate. Uh, maybe we'll take a 30-second break. We'll do that. Back in 30 seconds and more, Wapan Warrior Baseball, bottom of the second inning, leading. This game is powered by Seabroxma Electric of Wapan. Seabroxma Electric has serviced the electrical needs for Wapan and the surrounding area for over 18 years. From small residential jobs to agricultural, industrial, and commercial jobs, they do it all. For quality work and prompt, courteous service, contact your state of Wisconsin licensed electrical contractor in our area. Seabroxma Electric at 920-319-1614 or check them out online at cbelectric.net. Okay, Steve Winterhack with you. A little uh, talk with Dan Jonas out at the home plate with uh, Jacob Reddick in his infield. And that'll bring up uh, Ethan Cunningham up to the plate now for Wapan. Ethan's last at bat went down uh, looking. Strikeout victim back in the first inning. Ninth batter of the inning for the Warriors. Logan Paul Prawl waiting on deck to get his second at bat of the second inning. Only one down, bases loaded for Wapan. Big swing of the next pitch in. Swing and a miss, puts the count at 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch now from Riddick, and a uh, last second decision to swing, but uh, puts a charge in the ball, but hits it well out of play on the left field side. Staying alive is Cunningham. Another 0-2 pitch to look at for uh, Ethan Cunningham. Once, uh, they're going to say they're going to say it's <laughs> looked like it was off from Ethan in the box. Wasn't calling that right away on that. <laughs> and was kind of waiting to see what he's going to call, but finally he did. Brings everybody back to where they were at, and Ethan's still alive yet, but still sitting at 0-2. Here's the pitch from Riddick. That's going to miss off the plate. Count is 1-2. and two. Not a bad place to put one. One to the count for Ethan. 
That one's going to be on the ground and gets past the catcher, and everybody moves another base up. Another run comes in for Wapan. Jacob once in a while looks like he's got a lot of control out there, and all of a sudden just uh, throws a little wild pitch once in a while, and it's really uh, cost him so far in this ball game. Wapan has five runs in in the inning. They lead six to nothing over Rippon. Runners at second and third base for the Warriors. 2-2 two, two count now for Ethan uh, Cunningham. Who looked at a few, oh, two pitches and worked his way back to 2-2. Two, two. Again, well outside. Good job knocking it down is Max Belling, the catcher. Getting his work out here tonight behind home plate and having to run back to the backstop a few times. 3-2 the count. To Ethan Cunningham. See if he can come all the way back. Maybe get a couple runs in right now. It's a 3 2 pitch. It's hit high in the air out towards the left field. Uh, Mason Killam has to come way in on this one and does make the catch. And the thing for that one, he kind of sat back for a while and he realized he had to come in. And the, the nice thing for them is he had a nice run right in almost into the infield dirt and uh, keeps the runners from advancing at all because he was just, just outside of the infield dirt that we have in Wapan. And so that was a good break there for Rippon. Hit one then high in the air, gets knocked down, and uh, two outs now with runners still at second and third. Logan Prawl up to bat now for a second time in the inning, the tenth batter of the inning for Wapan. Called strike on the first pitch into him. Got on with a walk earlier in the inning to get things going for Wapan, and the catcher didn't go after the ball. I'm not sure if he didn't know where it was, but uh, then he got himself uh, two bases after getting walked. This pitch is going to miss. Puts a count at one and one. So two down, Wapan uh, now leading six to nothing. Big cut there by Logan. Swing and a miss. Count is now one and two. Jacob Riddick with the one-two pitch. And a little off that one and a swing and a miss by Logan. And that is the last out. Finally three outs, but not after uh, ten batters came to the plate for Wapan and two runners stranded, but they get five runs across the plate, and Wapan leads now by a score of six to nothing. Back in 60 seconds with the top half of inning number three on RP Sports. Think it's warm over there? Where's the AC? We're not getting Netflix if it ain't free. Hi, this is Jackie with All Phase Heating, Cooling, and Geothermal. Soon we'll be in a warm Wisconsin summer. Now is the time to get your maintenance plan to prevent an AC conundrum. Don't forget, we sell and install Coleman furnaces too. Call 920-763-2301. Log on allphasecomforts.com. Providing your comfort zone for all seasons. I know the weather's changing. I can feel it in my knee. Say cheese. If you cringe when it's time to smile, come to Dentistry of Wisconsin in Beaver Dam and Waupon to make your grin big, bright, and beautiful. They can help with impactful solutions like implants, bridges, anthrodontics like Sure Smile Clear Aligners. And if you're looking for simple smile enhancers, they offer tooth whitening and veneer. Home and Auto is very blessed to have served our local communities for 50 years. From a small used car store with four employees to five locations and over 100 employees, we would like to thank our many customers and our communities for the past 50 years. Home and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Waupon, Home and Chevrolet in Waupon, Home and Ford and Home and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ripon, Home and Chevrolet GMC in Ripon and the location where we began 50 years ago, Holman Value Center in Waupon. Thank you for allowing us to serve you, our customers, our friends, for the last 50 years. And we look forward to the next 50 years. Holman Auto, great selection, award-winning service, low prices, and a relaxed buying atmosphere. We make you feel at home at Holman Auto Group in Waupon and Ripon, serving you for 50 years and counting. 
We are back at the Gus and Wapon. Steve Winterhack with you. Justin Schwartzmiller doing the video streaming, and Wapon uh, puts five on the board in the bottom half of inning number two. Now lead this game six to nothing. Number nine of the batting order, Mason Wiesner, up to bat. This one down uh, low and makes the count two and one. Then top of the order, Shea Otto. He's awaiting on deck, and Mason kill him after him. So it's an out you'd like to get with number nine. Retire him and face the top of the order with just uh, with an out on the board. Nobody on base. This one's going to miss high and away. Wiesner, the second baseman. Now 3-1 the count to Wiesner. That one's going to miss just a bit high. So a leadoff walk for Rippon. And that'll bring up Shea Otto with Mason to kill him awaiting on deck. But... A lot of times those leadoff walks, especially the people at the bottom of the order, can come back and haunt you a little bit. That one just didn't quite get in there and maybe a little bit low on that last pitch from Mason Holtz. Fastball, misses high, puts the count at 2-0. and And a strike call on the next pitch. Two and one the count on Shea Otto. Shea flew out to uh, right field his last head bat. What a great pitch on the outside part of the plate. Puts a count at two and two. What was that hit off the bat of Otto that uh, on a day with no win probably would have been a pretty decent uh, flight on that ball. And then a called strike on the next pitch in going down looking. Is Shea Otto. Strikeout number six in the ball game for uh, Mason Holtz. One out, runner at first yet. And Mason Killam coming up to bat. Went down looking, strikeout victim in the first inning. Max Belling awaiting on deck. Chop, but foul over on the third base side. Count is one and one. What was Caitlin Clark's, uh, co what's her uh, contract? 338000 for four years. <laughs> she made more on that just by uh, wearing the Prada Outfit that she wore last night because he was sponsored by Prada at that at the draft yesterday. So uh, she'll make a lot uh, with advertising. Yeah. The stuff for Gatorade, the stuff for uh, State Farm. And swing and a miss on the next one. Chases one kind of high and away. So two strikeouts for Mason Killam so far in the ball game, And seven strikeouts for pitcher Mason Holtz. Two down. Runner at first. They got to chance to watch at least for the first seven uh, players that were drafted. That was quite the show. Everybody all dressed up like you're at the uh, the Oscars or something like that. And it's a big night there for uh, women's sports and the WNBA really trying to see if they can get that to take off and and build off from Caitlin Clark's momentum that she's really brought to college basketball and just to women's sports in general. So that was quite uh, it was quite the draft yesterday, but. It was the 0-1 pitch. Uh, a fool on that one, the butt uh, swing and a miss by uh, Max Belling. Maybe caught the ball a little bit, but 0-2 uh, count now on him. He struck out back in the uh, first inning, but uh, then that uh, pitch was uh, a wild pitch for Mason Holtz and scored it all the way back to the fence. So he got himself to first base. This one's going to miss low and away. Now we'll see what happens if they can uh, keep that momentum for the uh, WNBA after uh, what they gained last night. I tell you, a lot of people watching that, a lot of people watching the final four games for uh, women's basketball. Two to the count now on Max Belling. It was gonna stay just a little bit high. 
Yeah, Chase is going to look back. He said, where did that miss exactly? <laughs> 3-2 the count now with two down, runner at first base, Wapon leading 6 to nothing on your new medical integrated health care scoreboard. Throw to first. Not in time. How much? Oh. And a strike three in the next pitch in to Max Belling. So nice job by Mason Holt striking out number one, two, and three in the batting order after giving that initial walk away. And that, that runner got stranded at first. So Wapon still leading six to nothing after two and a half innings coming back in just 60 seconds of the bounce. Give Dentistry of Wisconsin a call. Live from the Gus on RP Sports. And Beaver Dam at 887-2112 or their Wapon office at 324-3881. You can also visit them online at dentistryofwisconsin.com. Let's spring into a new career. Join the award-winning Zaputo Dairy USA team. Zaputo ranks within the top three for cheese production in the country, and they're right in this area. Career stability, great wages, benefits, and more. Right now, Zaputo is looking for skilled mechanics for their third shift, starting wages at over $30 per hour with an additional shift premium of $2 an hour. Benefits start after 30 days. Log on to Zaputo.com and click on Careers. Located just outside of Wapan in Alto. Did you know that Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake offers Casasa Rewards checking accounts? All Casasa Rewards accounts include refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. When you meet the monthly qualification criteria, there's no monthly maintenance fee and no minimum balance requirement. Best of all, you get rewarded for things you probably do anyway, such as using your debit card and setting up a direct deposit. Discover the benefits of opening a Casasa Rewards checking account at Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake. New ownership. We are back in Wapan. Uh, great job by Mason Holtz giving up that leadoff walk and after that taking number one, two, and three and striking him out. He's got eight strikeouts in the game so far, so a nice outing for Mason Holtz. And coming up this inning for the Warriors, he is Mason Holtz, followed by Jake Krieger and Brady White, number seven, eight, and nine in the batting order. Well, finally leading six to nothing, heading into the bottom of the third inning. Getting a little feedback? Getting feedback again? Yeah, I love this time of year, baseball. Uh, Wapan always, uh, I tell you, the most uh, consistently good sports in Wapan, I believe, are the baseball and the softball teams this time of year. Always put out a good squad on the team. Always very competitive. A lot of success. Bottom of the third now for Wapan and Mason Holtz. His last at bat had a single and scored back in the second inning. And quite a breeze there, a center fielder coming in. He's pitching now, so they got a left-handed pitcher on the mound. Strike on the next pitch in, two Holtz. Three and one the count. And hit out towards uh, left field, kind of slicing, and a uh, good job by the left fielder. It was just kind of sliced right back to where he was running, and he played it just perfectly with that ball just slicing out there and hauls it in for out number one. <laughs> so Jake Krieger steps to the plate, number eight in the batting order. He uh, had a single and scored back in the second. A little controversy about whether there was a single or an error on that one with Jake last time, but we got her officially in the books. It's a single. Next pitch also is going to miss low and inside. Yeah, been a great start to the season for Wapan, but uh, a lot of tough teams to come in. Nice ball right down the third base line, and that's going to squirt away into a foul territory if it lands uh, fair, and it does. Uh, 
Gets Jake all the way over to second base, but just put a hurt on that ball. The hardest hit ball in the ball game right down the line, and uh, then a nice little bounce afterwards. And uh, got Jake standing over at second base with one down. Brady White steps to the plate now for Wapan. So Jake two for two in the ball game. And Coy DeVries, lefty on the mound, is uh, first inning on the mound for the Rippin Tigers here in the third inning. This pitch into him is going to miss high for ball one. Yeah, the DeBoer Diamond Classic coming up this uh, Friday and Saturday. Wapan won it last year. I see the trophy sitting right here, but nobody... Took the time to etch in the Wapan won it. Uh, they've got some uh, nice past champions. Fox Valley Lutheran, Kenosha Tremper won it one time. Wapan won the initial one back in 2013. Beloit Turner's won it uh, once. Denmark also winning the tournament here. Denmark with all those great years that they've had up there. One and one the count. Here's a called strike. No offer from Brady. Made some good contact his last at bat back in the second. That one went off the top of the uh, center fielder who uh, is our pitcher right now. Coy DeVries off his glove and landed behind him. Still with this wind out here, that was a, a pretty well hit ball. Next one's going to miss inside. Two and two the count now for Brady White. Top of the order, Emmett Hull waiting on deck. Yeah, throw it a second, and they've got a, a run down. Now it goes out to center field, and, and Wapon's going to score a run with that throw that got past the second baseman out to center field, and everybody kind of nonchalantly uh, going after the ball out here, and that allows Wapon to uh, score, leading now seven to nothing. So Wapon is uh, numerous times in the ball game has got some help from Rippon's uh, defense, getting some runs in. Yeah, they definitely had Krieger between second and third base, but that one is a swung on and foul back. Keeps the count at two and two. Yeah, Brewers playing tonight against the Padres. What time is it now? They play uh, in a couple hours. Ten and five on the season. Nice start for the Brewers. They're fun to watch. Two two pitch. Belling trying to bring it down into the strike zone. But a ball makes it count three and two. Oh, big swing and a miss on the next pitch in for Brady White. Goes down, but he went down swinging. So that is out number two for Wapan. That brings the top of the order up, Emmett Hull. Nobody on base, one run in, 7 nothing Wapan here in the bottom of the third inning. Emmett has struck out and has singled and scored so far in the game. This pitch is off the plate away from Emmett Hall. Evan Sauer is waiting on deck. Everybody bundled up there pretty good. Watching the game. I'm pretty comfortable. Light little sweater, but uh, it's chilly when you get out in that wind. But got the window in front of me, so it's a... Uh, Good time to be a broadcaster, sitting in the broadcast booth. We even have a heater up here if I wanted to, but that's, that'd show some weakness if I did that. Here comes the 1-1 pitch. Emmett will uh, swing at it and follow it on the ground. See some raindrops on the window, though, right now. This is why we moved the game up uh, to 3.30, which I found out at about uh, 12.30 today. <laughs> so as I was prepping for the game and saw the, the time on the... Some of the things I was looking at to get some stats. Next pitch swung on by Emmett and fouled back. One and two count. Two down, nobody on, and 
Emmett Hull still up to bat for Wapon. One two count and uh, chases one. It kind of squirts away from the catcher. Picked up, thrown to first, and they got the out. So Wapon uh, does come up with a run. Uh, that nice double by Jake Krieger set himself up with a chance to uh, cross home plate. And Wapon now leading seven to nothing after three complete. We'll be back in 60 seconds with the top of inning number four on our piece. Same customer service tradition. Verhag's Furniture has been proudly serving Wapan and its surrounding areas for over 50 years. New owners Luke and Logan Gans are longtime employees of Verhag's Furniture and are committed to continue serving the furniture, accessory, and mattress needs of Wapan and the surrounding areas. Bringing you exceptional quality from Ashley Furniture, Lazy Boy, Tempur-Pedic, Puffy Mattress, and many more top brands from their store to your home. Verhag's Furniture Wapan, quality brands for affordable prices. Online at verhagfurniture.com. A reminder for everyone that Ben's Automotive is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. and on Saturdays by appointment only. Keeping your vehicle in tip-top running condition is essential. Call 324-9962 for Ben's Automotive. Get the quality repair and maintenance services you need from the automotive technicians you can trust. Ben's Automotive at the corner of Carrington and Main Streets in beautiful downtown Wapan. Call 920-324-9962 to schedule your service or repair needs today. And Steve with us here at the other bar, Main Street in Wapan. We invite people to stop on by this week. Steve, enjoy some great appetizers, some soups, some great specials, too. Well, it's getting a little better. It's a little rainy, so good time to come in and get some soups. And uh, homemade pizzas are always great. Fish fry is always here. Come check it out. We've got some interesting specials this week. Got the Brewers baseball in full swing, of course. Got the Bucks playoffs. We'll see what happens there with the NBA. We'll uh, hope for the best and come down and watch the Brewers. They're still hot and looking good. The Bucks. well, we'll see what happens. But obviously, games on the TV. TVs all the time, all kinds of great things to watch. So come down and have a one of our 16 tap beers and enjoy yourself. The smoke off has been postponed, right? Canceled for right now. The one that was supposed to happen this coming weekend. Lots of interest, uh, just no commitments. We're going to keep it on the back burner. We're going to keep talking about it. We're going to try to get some more people in, involved in it. But if you're interested in doing this, come talk to us. We need to find a date, maybe late fall, get some people signed up for it. But with the amount of moving parts in this, we got to know what we got going before we do it. The other bar, Main Street in Wapan. Stop on by this week, Steve. Thank you. Thanks. Nick. Okay, we are back for the uh, top half of inning number four. Half of inning number four. Half of inning number four. And up first in number four in the batting order, Jacob Riddick, who was the starting pitcher in the ball game, second at bat of the ball game. He had a single back in the first inning. He had a couple runners in uh, on base, but. Good pitching there by Mason Holtz to uh, get himself out of trouble in that time. Have him sign out waiting on deck and Braden uh, Dudzinski. See if he's coming up to bat or not. Swing and a miss on the next pitch in and uh, going down swinging Jacob Riddick and Nice little run here, about five strikeouts in a row, I think, from Holtz. Four in a row. Is that right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Had him sign up to bat right now. For the Tigers, we'll find leading seven to nothing. 2 0 count for Sina. Called strike on the next pitch in. Uh, sign up was a strikeout victim back in the first inning. Nine strikeouts in the uh, game so far for Mason Holtz. 2 2 the count on Sina. This one's going to miss outside. Puts the count at 3 and 2. Yeah, we'll have a lot of coverage of Wapan boys baseball and girls softball here uh, during the season. It's a hit in the air in foul territory giving chases Cunningham, but it's going kind to of blow uh, out of play over on the right field side. Count remains 3-2. and two. He's going to miss high and tight, and he uh, loses him. Uh, issues a walk to Sina. 
And that'll bring up Braden Dodzinski up to bat. Dodzinski struck out. His last at bat back in the second inning. He's head out towards uh, the right field and a foul ball. It's runner back at first base. Not a bad idea, but just a bit foul. Sainas watch is the second walk issued by Holtz in the ball game. Tadzinski now down on the count, 0 and 2. And watches that one go right down Main Street. And a fastball from Mason Holtz just went right at him with it. He just went down looking. Up to 10 strikeouts now for Mason in the ball game. And Nolan Dragalovich up to bat, right-handed hitter. Flew out to center field his last at bat. All strike on the next pitch in. Next pitch coming inside on that one, kind of mixing up locations and no offer again from uh, Drag uh, Dragalovich. Six count, one and two. Fastball misses high and away. Two and two the count. And you got Travis uh, Hull heading out to talk to uh, Mason. Two, two count. Two down. I believe we are uh, switching pitchers here. Looks like uh, Evan Sauer is going to be uh, pitching now for Wilpon. They gave him the ball, and we will take a break. Come back in 90 seconds with the remainder of the top of the fourth inning after this on RP Sports. Holman Auto is very blessed to have served our local communities for 50 years. From a small used car store with four employees to five locations and over 100 employees, we would like to thank our many customers and our communities for the past 50 years. Holman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Waupon, Holman Chevrolet in Waupon, Holman Ford and Holman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ripon, Holman Chevrolet GMC in Ripon, and the location where we began 50 years ago, Holman Value Center in Waupon. Thank you for allowing us to serve you, our customers, our friends, for the last 50 years. And we look forward to the next 50 years. Holman Auto. Great selection, award-winning service, low prices, and a relaxed buying atmosphere. We make you feel at home at Home and Auto Group in Wapan and Ripon, serving you for 50 years and counting. Call Eli at Torres Tree Service of Wapan. Eli and his team can remove trees big or small, even those hard to get trees. They do tree trimming and stump grinding and the job's not done until they put topsoil and seed where the tree was removed, clean up the debris and haul it away. Join the many satisfied customers. Okay, we are back at the Gus and Wapan. Pitching change. Has to do with the amount of pitches that Mason was uh, throwing and making them uh, so he's still available to pitch coming up during the uh, the weekend tournament, Friday and Saturday. So uh, he's done. A nice outing for him. Ten strikeouts in the ball game. Oh, and nice little uh, poke out uh, between first and second base, but there's still a play at first. And they got him. Nice job by Cunningham coming in hard from right field, and they get the runner out. 
at first after uh, what looked like was going to be an easy base hit, but nice job by Cunningham. Getting the out over at first base, and uh, Wapon keeping ripping off the scoreboard. 7 0. The Warriors here after three and a half, and we'll be back with Wapon's half of inning number four coming your way in just 60 seconds at RP Sports. First, by calling Torres Tree Service in Wapon at 920 334 5887. That's 920 344 5887 for Torres Tree Service of Wapon. Are you or a loved one living with the discomfort and hopelessness of peripheral neuropathy? The tingling, the numbness, the life-altering pain? Are you tired of taking medications that only mask the symptoms or don't work at all? You don't have to live like that anymore. Introducing New Medical Center, your beacon of hope in the fight against peripheral neuropathy. Our team of dedicated specialists uses the latest advancement in medical technology to help you regain control of your life. Our personalized treatment plans are designed to reduce your pain, improve your balance, and restore your quality of life all while targeting the cause of your neuropathy. We believe in a holistic approach, combining cutting-edge therapies and lifestyle changes that can slow down, stop, or even reverse the progression of your disease to help you live your life to the fullest. Don't let peripheral neuropathy hold you back. Take the first step towards a pain-free life. Call New Medical Center today at 920-324-9899 or visit us on the web at newmedicalctr.com. That's New Medical Center. Okay, we are back at the Gus and Wapon. Steve Winterhack with you, Justin Schwartzmiller with the video streaming, and Wapon with a nice play to end the uh, top of the fourth inning, a little 9 3 put out to get that third out. And coming up for Wapon, Evan Sauer, the leadoff batter, number two in the batting order. Big cut on the first pitch in. Still Coy DeVries, who came out to pitch starting uh, last inning. In the bottom of the fourth inning, Wapon leading 7 to nothing. 0-2 the count now for Evan. Definitely getting his money's worth of the swings, but 0 for 2 so far in the ball game. Brian Ferris a winning on deck. One stays a little uh, outside, a little high. On the next pitch in, 1-2 and two the count. And definitely getting, uh, getting dark out there. One swung on, chopped on the ground, foul over on the third base side. One to the count now on Evan Sauer. Here's the pitch from DeVries. And that one swinging a miss, but it uh, pops away all the way to kind of what happened in the uh, first inning against Wapon, but uh, pops away and. Strikeout, but a uh, wild pitch is going to be called on the uh, pitcher, Coy DeVries, allowing uh, Pond's leadoff batter, Evan Sauer, to get to first base. That brings up Brian Ferris. Been hit by a pitch. He's had a single so far in the game. It's third at bat. A few raindrops earlier, but it looks like that has stopped right now as the wind's blowing right in at us. Good day to be in the booth here today. Oh, throw to first, and Evan uh, fooled on that one and then uh, lost his footing and thrown out at first base. So base is clear for the Warriors with one down. Next pitch gets to the inside part of the plate. Yeah, those lefties out there, Coy DeVries, a uh, pretty decent move over to first base. And hard hit ball and nice stop by the third baseman. Throw to first base, but uh, not in time. So uh, infield base hit for uh, Brian Ferris, but uh, like I said, nice job by the third uh, baseman to, to uh, grab the ball just some good speed up the base paths and runner safe at first so a one down and that'll bring up Chase Beam He's walked a couple times so far in the game you know the breeze likes to uh, Show his move over to first base and uh, gets Ferris to dive back in. He does it safely. Mm -hmm. 
That one's going to drop into the strike zone. Landon Richter waiting on deck for his first head bat of the ball game. Throw to first, not in time. Yeah, a lot of fun teams to watch throughout our uh, viewing area. Oakfield boys and girls are uh, both very good over there. So way inside, and uh, Beam did a good job not to get hit by the ball. Runner goes. That one's going to stay underneath the catcher down in the dirt end. There stands over at second base now. So runner in scoring position for the Warriors. Trying to add to that 7 0 lead with one down here in the bottom of the fourth inning. A lot of help by Rippon. Uh, Wapon does have some hits in the ball game, but uh, a lot of help from the Rippon Tigers. Helping Wapon out so far in the ball game. Beam with a swing and a miss on the next pitch in. 2 2 the count on Chase. And that is hit right to the shortstop. Uh, Lambert uh, swallows it up. That pulls the first base one off the base, and he's safe over there. Shea Otto was uh, kind of leaning forward and had uh, to go before it hit the ground and uh, slid his foot off the base, and that allows Chase Beam to be safe at first. Runners at first and second now for Wapan, and uh, coming up to bat is Landon Richter. One run in the first, five in the second for Wapan, and one run in the third inning, and they'd like to add to it now with those two runners on and just one down. Ray Schmidt brought in to uh, do some running over at first base again for Beam. <coughs> and uh, that's a nice hit ball out towards uh, left field. Uh, and uh, Wapan's going to score with the ball being bobbled out in uh, left field. And uh, Ferris puts on the Jets and easily scores. Another run in for Wapan now leading eight to nothing. See if Wapan can get a couple more here with the rain kind of started coming down. Uh, it would time out pretty good to get a couple more runs in and maybe take care of things defensively in the top of the fifth inning. See if we can get this one done. Yeah, they balk a call down the pitcher, uh, Coy DeVries. Advancing runners now to uh, second and third base. Yeah, rain picking up a little bit, and that'll make uh, things nice for the camera. We got the nice open spot. Good job there by Justin. To rain filling up the windows right now. Coming right at us with the wind. And that is head out towards the center field, and that is going to score a couple of runs. A two RBI single for Logan Prawl. They throw one home, which they should not have done, and that allows Logan is pretty quick to react on the base pass over to second base. That's one thing we were asking for on that with the uh, trying to get those the 10 runs in and then try to take care of business uh, defensively to see if we can make this a four and a half inning game. 10 nothing Wapan now with three runs into the inning. Nice little stroke out there to center field bringing in two runs.
Going to miss outside. Mason holds up the bat. Has flown out. Had a single so far in the ball game. Only one down for Wapon, but three runs in. 10 nothing Warriors. This one's going to miss outside. Puts a count at 2-0. and oh. Check over to second base by DeVries. Here's the pitch. That's hit over towards second base. Backhanded. Wiesner gets it over to Otto over at first base to get the out, but that does advance Logan Prawl over to third base. Jake Krieger up to bat. See if he can get an RBI. That one to his total on the season. That runner over at uh, third base. Jake, two for two in the game with a single and a double. Called, stri called strike on the first pitch into Jake. Grandpa Jerry uh, out fishing out in Ohio. Can't keep that guy in the state of Wisconsin. Been down to Arizona for a while and comes back up here and heads right out to Ohio to do some fishing. But always following his grandkids on the... Uh, live streaming that we provide, so glad to have him on board. Comes the 1-1 pitch. Strike, and Jake <laughs> looks back at the home plate umpire on that one, but uh, puts a count at 1-2. and two. Yeah, well, Pop with 10 runs, if they can just take care of business and keep ripping off the board in the top of the fifth. You get out of here in four and a half innings. And a called strike. Jake goes down looking. But Wapan does come up with a, uh, three hits in the inning, three runs across the plate. One strikeout there for Coy DeVries, and actually two strikeouts for him because of the wild pitch in there, so two strikeouts for him. And then Wapan does score three and lead now 10 to nothing. And we'll come back in 60 seconds with the top half of inning number five on RP Sports. 920-324-9899 because you deserve to live without pain. Hey, you think it's warm over there? Where's the AC? We're not getting Netflix if it ain't free. Hi, this is Jackie with All Phase Heating, Cooling, and Geothermal. Soon we'll be in a warm Wisconsin summer. Now is the time to get your maintenance plan to prevent an AC conundrum. Don't forget, we sell and install Coleman furnaces too. Call 920-763-2301. Log on allphasecomforts.com. Providing your comfort zone for all seasons. I know the weather's changing. I can feel it in my knee. Say cheese. If you cringe when it's time to smile, come to Dentistry of Wisconsin in Beaver Dam and Waupon to make your grin big, bright, and beautiful. They can help with impactful solutions like implants, bridges, anthrodontics like Sure Smile Clear Aligners. And if you're looking for simple smile enhancers, they offer tooth whitening and veneers. Give Dentistry of Wisconsin a call in Beaver Dam at 887-2112 or their Waupon office at 324-3881. You can also visit them online at DentistryofWisconsin.com. Let's Okay, we are back. Top of the fifth inning. Rain falling here. Wind blowing. Even if you're a ripping fan, you might want to get out of here too. <laughs> Today with the rain coming down, your team down 10 to nothing. Uriah Lambert up to bat now for the Ripping Tigers. Number 8, 9, and 1 coming up here this inning. Pond doing what they needed to do. Get three runs in the Bottom half of inning number four to go ahead 10 nothing in this ball game. Fastball from Evan Sauer coming in to, to get that last out last inning. Moving Logan Prawl over to a second base. And Richter over to second. And then a strikeout for uh, Evan Sauer. Nice job. Mason Wiesner steps to the plate now. So far, Mason uh, just a second at bat of the ball game. He walked. Back in the uh, third inning, but then his uh, teammates went down strikeout victims. The next three batters after that, after they got a runner on. Well, just bringing the heat right now is Evan. I think he wants to get dry right now, too. Comes 
the 0-1 pitch. It's going to miss inside, puts the count at 1-1. One and one. Yeah, just bringing some high uh, heat on that one. A swing and a miss by Lambert. And a, a swing and a miss on the next one. And so another strikeout. So a couple strikeouts for the first two batters. And we head uh, to the top of the order with Shea Otto coming up the bat, the first baseman. He struck out. He's flown out so far in the ball game. And Wapon just one out away from ending this thing in uh, four and a half innings. 10 run lead up 10 nothing. Upon getting to double digits again for runs. Been at four out of the first five games and sitting at 10 right now. Called strike on the next pitch into Otto. Legal pitch, the old plate. Or what's he? Hear what he called with it? What he did? Okay, well, that's an illegal pitch, so uh, didn't really even. Two and one the count now for uh, Shea Otto. Nice job there by Evan, just coming right back in with a strike after that. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. A little talk with the home plate umpire. Seeing something with Evan. They're going to put another ball on the board. Okay, you know, Evan, he, 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 like everybody else, Evan wants to get out of here and get out of the rain. So <laughs> Tell him just to get a little set here, make sure the batter's all ready, and uh, here he goes. 3-2 pitch, and it's called strike three. Nice job by Evan Sauer striking out the side here. And this game is done in four and a half innings, Wapon winning 10 to nothing. Nice job there by Evan in relief in the ball game. Yeah, and we'll see if we can get a few, uh, maybe a few players up here in the, the booth. We'll get them up here and see if we can get a couple up here. And, and we'll see how long they talk to the players. If it's too long, we might just uh, bolt out of here too. So we'll see. But uh, the game is over. Wapon wins 10 to nothing in four and a half innings. We'll take a break right now and come back and uh, see if we'll get an opportunity or not. If they take a little long with uh, their talk after the game, we might not get to talk to some players. But Wapon Stays perfect on the season. Gets double digits again for the fifth time out of six games this season. And we'll come back and talk about the game coming your way in just a few minutes on RP Sports. Bring into a new career. Join the award-winning Zaputo Dairy USA team. Zaputo ranks within the top three for cheese production in the country. And they're right in this area. Career stability, great wages, benefits, and more. Right now, Zaputo is looking for skilled mechanics for their third shift. Starting wages at over $30 per hour with an additional shift premium of $2 an hour. Benefits start after 30 days. Log on to Zaputo.com and click on Careers. Located just outside of Wapan in Alto. Did you know that Ergo Bank of Marquezan and Fox Lake offers Casasa Rewards checking accounts? All Casasa Rewards accounts include refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. When you meet the monthly qualification criteria, there's no monthly maintenance fee and no minimum balance requirement. Best of all, you get rewarded for things you probably do anyway, such as using your debit card and setting up a direct deposit. Discover the benefits of opening a Casasa Rewards checking account at Ergo Bank of Marquezan and Fox Lake. New ownership, same customer service tradition. Verhag's Furniture has been proudly serving Wapan and its surrounding areas for over 50 years. New owners Luke and Logan Gans are longtime employees of Verhag's Furniture and are committed to continue serving the furniture, accessory, and mattress needs of Wapan and the surrounding areas. Bringing you exceptional quality from Ashley Furniture, Lazy Boy, Tempur-Pedic, Puffy Mattress, and many more top brands from their store to your home. Verhag's Furniture Wapan, quality brands for affordable prices. Online at verhagfurniture.com. 
A reminder for everyone that Ben's Automotive is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. and on Saturdays by appointment only. Keeping your vehicle in tip-top running condition is essential. Call 324-9962 for Ben's Automotive. Get the quality repair and maintenance services you need from the automotive technicians you can trust. Ben's Automotive at the corner of Carrington and Main Streets in beautiful downtown Wapan. Call 920-324-9962 to schedule your service or repair needs today. And Steve with us here at the other bar, Main Street in Wapan. We invite people to stop on by this week. Steve, enjoy some great appetizers, some soups, some great specials, too. Weather's well, getting a little better. It's a little rainy, so good time to come in and get some soups. And uh, homemade pizzas are always great. Fish fry is always here. Come check it out. We've got some interesting specials this week. Got the Brewers baseball in full swing, of course. Got the Bucks playoffs. We'll see what happens there with the NBA. We'll uh, hope for the best and come down and watch the Brewers. They're still hot, looking good. Bucks, well, we'll see what happens. But obviously, games on the team. TVs all the time, all kinds of great things to watch. So come down and have a one of our 16 tap beers and enjoy yourself. The smoke off has been postponed, right? Canceled for right now. The one that was supposed to happen this coming weekend. Lots of interest, uh, just no commitments. We're going to keep it on the back burner. We're going to keep talking about it. We're going to try to get some more people in, involved in it. But if you're interested in doing this, come talk to us. We need to find a date, maybe late fall, get some people signed up for it. But with the amount of moving parts in this, we got to know what we got going before we do it. The other bar, Main Street, and we'll. Pullman Auto is very blessed to have served our local communities for 50 years. From a small used car store with four employees to five locations and over 100 employees, we would like to thank our many customers and our communities for the past 50 years. Pullman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Waupon, Pullman Chevrolet in Waupon, Pullman Ford and Pullman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ripon, Pullman Chevrolet GMC in Ripon, and the location where we began 50 years ago, Holman Value Center in Waupon. Thank you for allowing us to serve you, our customers, our friends, for the last 50 years. And we look forward to the next 50 years. Holman Auto, great selection, award-winning service, low prices, and a relaxed buying atmosphere. We make you feel at home at Holman Auto Group in Waupon and Ripon, serving you for 50 years and counting. Okay, we are back. Well, Pond okay, wins we back. 10 to we'll nothing, wins and we've got nothing the and echo and thing going on again. Echo. Okay, there we go. Uh, 10 to nothing, uh, Well, Pond winning again. The fifth time of the season they've got double figures for uh, runs, I mean, for score in the game. So, an uh, uh, impressive thing for Well, Pond here tonight. And I've got a few players to talk to. Brian uh, Ferris with us first. Two for two in the ball game. You crossed home plate a couple times. And yeah, just talk about the aggressiveness of, of your team, just the mindset that you have out there. Uh, I think nobody delays or hesitates a bit to take an extra base from the Wapon team. Um, I think we've been really hungry this year, you know, getting out 6-0. and We're really, you know, striving for to get any run across. So I think just looking for any extra base we can get, I think, is key. I think you got you got a good spot, number three in the batting order right now? You know, it's different, but I'm ready to go wherever he needs me. And, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Hit the ball. Where do you like playing on the outfield? I know they, they can use you in many different places yeah. out there. Uh, where, do you, where do you like to play the most defensively? Definitely center field. I think just king of the outfield, you know, it's my outfield. Not to put any others down, but, <laughs> you know, I just like when I got it, it's my ball. Yeah, that's what you got. That's the attitude you got to have when you go out there. But uh, yeah. a, a great game out there, a great base running. He crossed home, played a couple times, and uh, got some runs. Kind of, I think maybe kind of forcing these guys to make some errors by uh, being very aggressive out there. So I, I think that's something you guys do yeah. too. For sure. I think any way we can put pressure on that team, I think, you know, we win the battle. It's showing right now. So I think any way we can do that, just keep it up. Okay, Brian, impressive game. Uh, nice victory here tonight. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Appreciate it. Shout out Trent, Bald Eagle. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to hand the headset over to Mason Holtz, the starting pitcher here in the ball game, pitching uh, three and two-thirds innings. They, they took you out in the middle of a batter because of a pitch count, right? Yeah, we got a big tournament coming up this weekend, and we just got to do what we got to do to be as effective we can then. Ten strikeouts in the ball game, uh, just a, a two walks in the game, and uh, when you walk that one guy to lead the – do you take that personal when you walk number nine in the batting order and you, you came out and you struck out the next three guys? It seemed like you kind of had uh, – you kind of took that personal and just mowed down the top of the order after that. Is that kind of your attitude for that? Yeah, uh, nine hitters is usually someone you want to attack and didn't really do that well that – that uh that at bat but got after the next three guys we were just trying to be as aggressive as we could 
How you feeling out there? This you know, this is the, your your third start of the season already, and just uh, you know six games on the season. So, uh, how you feeling so far in the another year out here, being another uh, year as the ace pitcher for the team? Uh, I feel really good. We got a lot of guys that can hit the ball really well, and having them back me up just gives me a lot of extra confidence and uh, a lot of kind of comfort on the mound. Okay, well, you looked uh, rock solid here tonight, so uh, it was fun to uh, call your game here tonight. But a uh, great performance, 10 strikeouts. Uh, just had uh, gave up one hit in the game, so uh, a great job tonight, uh, Mason Holtz. Thank you. Uh, Mason joining us, and we're going to hand the uh, headset off to the coach now. Travis Hall is going to uh, join us. and. I, I, I like that. Uh, I like the, the how long you have your your little meetings afterwards. Sometimes in the past uh, regimes, we've had a, like about a five minute meeting after the games. But uh, uh, just uh, talk about your team. I know Rippin helped you out a little bit uh, with some errors out there early in the ball game. That uh, in some innings that looked like you weren't going to get any runs. But you guys definitely make teams pay uh, if they're going to make some errors. Uh, yeah, we. So as far as the meeting thing goes, we talk to the kids and. Normally it is, it's like a quick one, go talk to your families yeah, for a right. song or two, you know, and then get back out and we'll talk tomorrow because really nothing comes out of those like immediate meetings after the game, you know. It's right. better when you can think about things and talk to the other coaches a little bit and then talk to them at practice the next day. Yeah. So that's, you know, kind of part of that procedure. Um, I don't know, I forgot what was the original Oh, the question? other we were talking about maybe some of the opportunities oh. that you were given out here by Rippon that had, you know, yeah. <laughs> compiled a few uh, errors out there. But uh, I, I just like the the savviness of yeah. the Wapan team. They're the, the high IQ with baseball. They, they You don't have to try to push them off the bases to get another one. They, they're all over it, and they're, they're quick to react. Yeah, no, we have some experienced kids, but we also, we you know, you heard, I think it was Bryant, talk about pressure and putting pressure on teams, and we talk about that a lot. Um, you know, it's just a mindset that we want to have when we're on the bases, when we're at the plate. Um, it's just not letting up and making sure we keep putting pressure. If we only put up one one run in an inning, we gave them as much as we could in that inning. Um, even like that first inning, we struggled the first couple of batters. Um, but then in the end, you know, Riddick ended up having to throw like 29 pitches, you know, because we battled them the next three batters. And, um, and so... You know, you do that enough times, it wears on a team, and then all of a sudden, you know, you go from being up three nothing to putting another six spot up, and and it's a whole new ball game. So, you got the big uh, DeBoer uh, Classic coming up this uh, weekend. Uh, what kind of teams you bring it in? You always bring uh, a lot of familiar teams that are coming in here. Who are some of the teams that stand out as a real good competition for you this weekend? Uh, you know, I haven't got a chance to look real close. I mean, Turner's always good. Um, I know Lodi has a really good team um, this year. There's a lot of ranked teams in there. We've got a couple D1 schools in there. I think Oshkosh North has a has a stud pitcher. Um, so, yeah, it, we're definitely going to get challenged. I told the kid, like, we've had – we haven't gotten pushed a whole lot so far this season, but I said it's going to happen at some point. And I got on them a little bit in practice yesterday because, you know, we, we started to ease up and, you know, we just – I said – you got to keep preparing like the, you know, like the next game is going to be your toughest because you just never know. So, Well, another uh, nice victory. You're 6-0 and on the season. Good luck on Thursday and uh, have fun with the DeBoer Classic this weekend. And uh, congratulations on the win today. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate okay. it. Okay, Travis Hall uh, uh, joining us here to wrap things up here at uh, Wapons Gus and uh, winning in four and a half innings, which everybody was kind of happy because the rain's falling right now. And, uh, again, uh, they got the job done at 110 to nothing. The, the fifth time out of six games that they got the double figures and runs uh, this season. Just quickly looking at the batting, Emmett Hall was one for three in the game. Uh, Brian Ferris, two for two in the ball game, scored a couple times. You had uh, Ethan Cunningham uh, uh, with a uh, hit, I think, in the game. One for two for Logan uh, Prawl, but he got on base a, a few times, and he knows how to get that extra base out there. And uh, Jake Krieger with a double and a single, two for three in the ball game for the uh, Warriors, and uh, one for three for uh, Mason Holtz. But a nice victory. They play again coming up on Thursday. They'll be playing at Ripon over at Barlow Park in their next ball game, and then of course the big DeBoer Classic coming up on Friday and Saturday. And you'll be able to watch uh, those games video streamed on uh, Jeff's video stream coming up, so uh, you'll have those to to watch. But hopefully, you just come down to the Diamond and watch some really good baseball here at uh, Wapons Diamonds. So I hope you enjoyed the broadcast tonight. Uh, I want to thank uh, for, uh, Justin for joining us here tonight. Great job with the video streaming, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that, to get to sit and watch the game and uh, hear the call on the ball game and, and cheer on your Wapon Warriors. Maybe some ripping people out there, too. 
and we're watching the game at least for a while. But Wapan wins 10 to nothing, and uh, that is it for tonight. Have yourself an excellent Tuesday night, and this has been Wapan Warrior Baseball on RP Sports. Home and Auto is very blessed to have served our local communities for 50 years. From a small used car store with four employees to five locations and over 100 employees, we would like to thank our many customers and our communities for the past 50 years. Home in Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Waupon, Home in Chevrolet in Waupon, Home in Ford and Home in Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ripon, Home in Chevrolet GMC in Ripon, and the location where we began 50 years ago, Holman Value Center in Waupon. Thank you for allowing us to serve you, our customers, our friends, for the last 50 years. And we look forward to the next 50 years. Holman Auto, great selection, award-winning service, low prices, and a relaxed buying atmosphere. We make you feel at home at Holman Auto Group in Waupon and Ripon, serving you for 50 years and counting.